Yo, what's up, boxing fans? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the epic face-to-face -face showdown between two giants of the ring, Floyd Money Mayweather and the rising superstar, Gervonta Tank Davis. If you thought the drama was just hype, buckle up, because things got heated and we're about to break it all down. This isn't just another fight, it's personal, and we're here for every moment of the chaos. Let's get it. All right, let's set the stage. We're on Dazn, and it's getting heated. On one side, we have Floyd Mayweather, the GOAT, the undefeated legend with a record of 50 to zero. He's mastered the art of defense and is known for his lightning fast reflexes and tactical genius. Then we've got Gervonta Davis, the knockout king with a ridiculous 94% KO rate. With 30 fights under his belt and 28 wins coming by way of knockout, this dude is not just hungry, he's starving for glory. But here's the twist. These two are connected. Floyd was once the mentor to Tank, training him and helping to shape his career. Now, it's like watching a classic student versus master showdown. Except this time, the student is ready to take the crown. So, what happens when they finally face off? Let's dive right in. When these two finally stood face to face, you could cut the tension with a knife. Floyd's got that signature cool, collected demeanor. But you can see a fire burning beneath the surface. And Tank? He's all energy, ready to explode at any moment. During this face off, you could feel the crowd leaning in holding their breath for what was about to unfold. Tank Davis promised to KO Floyd if he ever saw him in public. This isn't just a fight, it's personal, and things are about to get even wilder. Tank revealed he's landed a deal that's way bigger than anything Floyd ever scored. They call Floyd Money Mayweather, but right now it's Tank who's stacking the serious cash. And, well, Floyd isn't exactly thrilled about it. What uh, set you off that you was like, I gotta do that? A lot of people don't know that what Floyd do. Uh, he said- So you feel like it was a sub, like he was subbing you like, oh, he, like- he, that, he was going at me. Mm. He was going at me. Yeah. And I knew for sure he was going at me. That's why I went at him. It's yeah. no reason for me to go at Floyd. Yeah. That's no. what I was thinking. Cause it's, I feel like y'all, y'all got, I would say love, hate, but it's been like the last interview you showed them love. This week it was whatever. But is that sometimes like, you know, is it just like big bro, little bro seeing things different or what is it to you? No, know, it just, it, Floyd don't never, he felt as though I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm at that point where as though I passed him. Mm. And, I, and I'm doing it at a young age. Wait, like when Floyd was 20, uh, 29, You'll see, bro. Yeah. That deal that I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh, that's that the yes, part that's of the deal. He, ain't, he don't know about that yet. Mm. But that's bigger than his deal. Damn. Wow. <laughs> and y'all just, and I'm just releasing this. That's exclusive. That's yeah. exclusive. Bigger than Floyd deal? Yeah. Tank, don't cap, nigga. That's a lot of bread. You'll see. It's okay. going to come out. As they exchanged words, it quickly became clear that this wasn't just a friendly reunion. Tank came out swinging, metaphorically, of course. He didn't hold back, calling out Floyd for everything from their past relationship to his retirement. And you know how Floyd is. He's not one to back down from a challenge. The banter turned into a full-blown clash of egos, and security had to step in to separate them. But what led to this brawl? That's the real question. Things were going pretty smoothly until Gervonta Davis made a comment about Floyd's daughter, Yaya Mayweather. You know how Floyd is when it comes to family? This guy was not gonna let Tank get away with it. Especially when there's a rumor going around, thanks to Ryan Garcia, that Gervonta Davis and Floyd's daughter were having an affair. I already knew, I already, I already knew about all that. Uh, once um, Gervonta fucked uh, uh, Floyd Mayweather's daughter, and that's not even a secret. That's not even like, that's not something I'm exposing. Things got physical when Floyd, in a moment of pure instinct, threw a punch at Tank. That's right, a punch. The tension boiled over, and fans were left in shock. The security team was quick to step in, but for a brief second, it felt like we didn't have to wait till the fight night to see these two go head to head. Not to mention, Floyd was fed up with Tank constantly taking digs at him. Yeah. 
Tank left no opportunity to trash talk his former mentor. The blood between these two could not run any colder. Well, my thing, my thing is, I've always been there for him from day one. Um, we had a game plan, and my game plan was to help him become world champion and take things to that next level. And I've, I've always been there for him. And just over the years, you can see, I've always been positive, always said great things about him, always pushed him to be great. And, um, but over the years, it's constantly going on the internet, take a shot at Floyd, take a shot at Floyd, take a shot at Floyd. Uh, constantly be disrespectful, constantly be disrespectful. When all I ever been was respectful to try to help this fighter, um, go as far as he could possibly go. That's all I ever did. Their relationship wasn't always this heated. Floyd brought Tank into the limelight, showing him the ropes of boxing and business. But as Tank's star began to rise, so did the tension between them. It's like watching a family drama unfold in real time. Tank has always felt like he's lived in Floyd's shadow, being constantly compared to him. But he's ready to break free. And this fight gives him the golden opportunity to show the world that he has what it takes to beat the best of the best. As the drama unfolded, fans couldn't help but think about the implications of this fight. If Tank Davis takes down Floyd Mayweather, it wouldn't just be a victory. It would redefine his entire career. Beating the GOAT would cement him as the new face of boxing, something that Floyd has held for years. This isn't just about pride, it's about legacy. Tank has been vocal about wanting this fight for a long time. He's always expressed a desire to step into the ring with Floyd and show what he's capable of. And now, with the face-off escalating tensions, the fight is more relevant than ever. Fans are buzzing, and the anticipation is through the roof. A new deal, seven fight deal, which is music to the ears of many boxing fans. You get to see you in action for several more years. What type of names are we talking about on those seven names? Uh, whoever you name, they could be in it. If I name some fighters, can you say yes or no? Yep. Shakur Stevenson? Yep. Ryan Garcia? Yep. Devin Haney? Yep. Isak Cruz? Yeah, but... There's two people I already beat already, but yeah. Errol Spence. Outside the ring. <laughs> Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. September. No. Tiafimo Lopez. Yeah. Out of all of those guys, who do you think is the most difficult opponent for you? Floyd Mayweather. Let's not forget about the infamous Dubai incident. This little drama went down at the airport, and it's wild. Floyd was chilling in Dubai, enjoying some much-deserved downtime when he unexpectedly ran into Tank. And what does Tank do? He throws a punch at Floyd. This wasn't just any punch. It was the same left hook that ended Frank Martin's career. Imagine the scene. Floyd, relaxed and ready to fly, suddenly caught off guard by Tank's unexpected aggression. You could feel the shockwaves across social media. Looks like this Dubai vacation wasn't the peaceful getaway Floyd had in mind. It's the Money Man. I'm right here in Dubai. Go tennis star, luxury rentals. Check them out. When you come to Dubai, top flight, follow me. We got everything. McLaren in different colors. Ferraris, Lambos, whatever you want. Rolls Royce, Bugatti, whatever you want. When you come to Dubai, it's the place to be. Check it out. Crazy colors. Come on, man. Live flashy like Floyd and Mayweather. Rotana Star. Whatever you want, they got Rotana Star. And as if that punch wasn't enough, look what Gervonta posted on X moments after their brawl in the airport.
Calvin Ford, Tank's trainer, has been vocal about the upcoming fight. He believes that Tank is ready to unleash his full potential and that Floyd will be in for a rude awakening. Ford's confidence in Tank is palpable. But hey, we all want to see if it translates into the ring. Another thing I want to touch on is the Floyd situation. You know, Floyd is Floyd. That's like I say, Tank is Tank, man. But at the end of the day, you know, the man is chasing greatness. And you should be supporting that. I always tell you that. You should be supporting that, you know. It's a rocky road that we see and what's going on. Just pay attention, man. The story is going to be built itself, you know. But again, that's how you burn bridges. Uh, somebody said, they say the true colors of a person that's coming out, man. Cause they can't stand it, you know. Calm is the... I, mean, I, I don't like using that word calm, you know. But our Lord knows. He knows. He knows. He knows. We all know Tank Davis and Floyd Mayweather worked together for a long time. If there's one guy who knows all of Tank's moves, it's got to be Mayweather. And guess what Floyd did next? He outed all of Tank's moves to Frank Martin. That's right, Floyd gave away all of Tank's secrets. And let's just say, Gervonta Davis was not too happy about it. It's going to be a tough one to call. You know he the one, you know he the one told Frank that I was running at 5 o'clock, I mean 7 o'clock in the morning, Friday. He told Frank that. He was giving Frank tips and stuff like that. I seen his people's uh, drop by while I was uh, running. It's cool. It's, it's all right. I don't really think too much of it. it ain't, he's not going to hurt me. You know what I mean? So it, it's, it's good to be with him than be cool with him because he can do some crazy stuff. He'll picture him. Bad situation. The mind games have already begun, so that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.